they are in and I are walking around Draycott Water in Warwickshire which of course is actually a reservoir we're walking through some little woodland at the moment you can just see through there the reservoir a lot of fishermen out on the lake and there's quite a gale blowing today so I would imagine it's a bit chilly out on the lake there's that wonderful lake look at that do you like that that's very nice isn't it we've already seen um, a little um, egret lots of waterfowl on there and often on this piece of green here the geese are feeding on the grass we've come from over there I've been right in the distance in the center of the picture is the sort of yacht basin and uh, we've come round this way here all the way around past the bird hide over there and then from here we've got to go all the way around here and the lake curls round to the right here and then all the way back to the middle of our screen again so we're having quite a quite a lovely walk today I can see down there those look like grebe yes they've just ducked three of them all gone down I don't suppose you could hardly see those but never mind that's where we're going we've got to go all the way around to there Um, but we'll get, we've got to go a bit further, so I put my waterproof boots on today because it was a 51, 52% chance of rain. But uh, thankfully, we've got Mr. Sun and not Mr. Rain, which is uh, rather nice. It's bitterly cold coming along that side. You're into a headwind and a real, a real blow. And over this side, because it's got a bank at the back of it, here you see, and the trees, uh, there's hardly any wind blowing at all. You can just about see the leaves moving. So it's, it's very different on different uh, parts of the route round this reservoir. Bit of a game to get round with a wheelchair but not impossible you're strong enough to go up and down the hillocks and um, and uh, I'm told dogs aren't allowed around here so just to let you know but it is a lovely walk if you're interested in wildfowl or just uh, walking it's about five miles I don't know if you do miles but I'm told it's five miles it's got to be about seven, eight kilometres, something like that. So that's the distance all the way around. As you can see now, the trees are starting to turn. We're starting to get some of the colours. Okay. It's well worth a visit. So this is near Dunchurch in Warwickshire, and. Uh, as I say, you can find it in the reservoir on the on Google Maps, I'm sure. So I'll say it now before we get back very much further. Thank you for watching and a special thank you to those who have already subscribed. Be most grateful if others of you would like to subscribe, that would be very kind. Please like and share. It'll all be much appreciated by the Rambling Rambler. Dave and his friends. So, where are we off to now? Now we've sort of got back on the roadway. This is what you'll be going round on if you're pushing a wheelchair. But of course, um, there are hills and dales, as it were, on the way round. They're not exactly steep, but um, nevertheless, um, it will take quite a bit of a push with the wheelchair so we'll how do we so we 
it's, it's still a lovely walk all the way around here and every now and again it goes back towards oh we'll go this way pick oh and it's just a picnic area i don't think we can get back out of it again i wonder let's have a little look yes we can that's a footpath so this is the picnic area under the under the trees i don't think there'll be a lot of people picnicking today you can just see over there in the distance this is swampy land here ideal for certain birds that pick out the little creatures in swampy land oh you've gone a different route darling Yes, my wife has gone a different way. I did say the other day when we were in Stratford that she's excellent. She can disappear just like that. She should do an act where she walks onto stage and then simply disappears. She's really good at disappearing. Hello, there's a little mole come up there. I think I must be going a lot further than her. If you look at the shape of this path, it's going round and round. Like a load of S bends. Yeah, to the right, to the left. As I say, it was quite cold when we first started out, and there was a threat of rain, but of course it didn't happen. Thankfully, if you were sat indoors waiting for there to be uh, no rain at all forecast, you'd never come out, I think, in the UK. And now we have a lovely view of Draycott Reservoir, or Draycott Water as it's often called. Look at that. Well, I'll uh, just have a quick look at this and then I think we'll call it un jour, call it a day. <laughs> Bye for now from the Rambling Rambler, Dave to his friends. See you again soon. Bye.